five people having lunch. Each person's glass holds nine ounces. A, a can of lemonade makes 32. Will Mary have enough lemonade for everyone? Explain why or why not. Okay. This was another tricky one, two-parter. Can I? The two-parter. Go right ahead. Yep. Okay. You guys check your paper, see if you did something different or if you got a different answer. The math department always collaborates K through 12 in what we want our students to be able to do. Our math curriculum is deeper, richer, and more robust. We challenge the students while supporting them. Our teachers are enthusiastic. They love the subject matter and exploring it with the students. They teach them not only the how to do it, but the why they do it. Math teachers at Greensboro Day School are passionate about the subjects that they teach, and they instill a sense of curiosity about math in their students. We try to make sure the students are at their correct level, not only by looking at their grades, but by teacher observation, observing the student's work ethic, their academic habits, their preparation level, and their enthusiasm for mathematics and willingness to take a risk. The student has to know that being in a math classroom is a safe place. They must be willing to take a risk. Every student walking in at the beginning of the year is not necessarily at that place. What we try to do is teach the students that I don't know it yet is perfectly fine. We will get to understand it together. The creative part of math is there are many ways to get to that answer. Creative thinking, thinking out of the box. The hardest class I took, math class I took at GDS was AP Statistics. Um, and at the time that was, that was really, really tough for me. But Mrs. Davis was so sweet and I was in her office almost every day at lunch getting extra help and she always was lending a hand and making me feel confident in what I was doing. And I'll always appreciate her for that. In the lower school, usually in the first and second grade, students are pulled out occasionally to work with a math specialist, and that could be either to help them remediate and have a little bit more support, or to give them some more challenging problems than what the whole class would have seen. This happens more frequently in the third and fourth grade. In the middle school, when it's a non-COVID year, there are lots of math competitions that the kids can participate in at lunchtime. In the sixth grade is when we truly start differentiating the classes, not just the instruction, but the classes. The math education in particular at GDS really just taught me to perform in the face of adversity, to ask questions whenever you know I have questions. Uh, rather than simply being lectured to about the nature of various equations, uh, we were encouraged to discuss openly uh, with our teachers and to resolve problems on the board collaboratively. If someone went up to do an equation on the board, it wouldn't just be them doing a performance silently in front of everybody. Uh, we all had the opportunity to give our inputs and suggest possibilities for solving any given problem. And that type of energy uh, permeated the entire school. In the upper school, we have three AP math courses, AP Statistics, AB Calculus, and BC Calculus. They will be ready for a Calc 3 course or any kind of course that is offered on our GOA sister online course. In lower school, we used a, a program called the Developmental Mathematical Processes and it teaches the kids why they are doing something and uh, almost the theory behind it before they get to the algorithm or the equation, so to speak. Our students are very much in tuned with conceptual understanding as opposed to just memorizing a procedure. And that is the strength of our program, the conceptual understanding.